Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about editing a linked model and you know how you would go about go about doing that. So we're going to do it um, in this MEP model. I I want to move the uh, walls in a in the architectural model. And if you want this model, this is the Autodesk sample model, the advanced one. Um, I'm using the uh, MEP one and the architectural one. So you, if you don't have those on your install, then just go out to their site. If you just search Revit sample project, you should be able to find it and just download the correct version. Um, you know, in this one I'm using 2019, so just make sure to, to, to pull the, the correct one down. Um, I'm gonna pull in the um, links. So I'll just turn the, view on and you know uh, we'll take a look at maybe these walls out here and what I'll do is I'll make it pretty apparent that I move the wall out here um, in the link you know because you can't click on this link and move these elements even if you you know tab in there you know and then you say move it's not going to do it um, all it most all your commands up here are grayed out and you can't open up that uh, ar architectural link in your MEP session you know that has that link you actually have to go in there and unload um, that link from that session and then open up your model but if you just want to keep this as is and then kind of work in two different models at the same time um, again you know you may not need to do this if you're an engineer and architect because you know mainly you're not going to be jumping into another disciplines uh, model and you know and start messing with it um, but um, and maybe as a BIM coordinator you would have to be in a number of different models maybe doing a variety of different tasks and, and this may be something you have to do so um, to do that all you went what all you would have to do is open up another Revit session so down here at the bottom you know wherever your Revit um, exe is um, you can just either right click and run uh, a new session from there or you uh, use the middle mouse wheel button and just click it and it'll open up a new session um, <coughs> so like I said we'll move this wall here so um, what we'll do is we'll jump into the MEP model and or the architectural model and do that I already have it open so um, here it is right here um, you can have two different sessions open of Revit and then you can have one with the link in it and one with the model you're primarily working in and then all you would have to do is you know work any you know as if you were in any other model you just grab whatever it is that you want to grab and then you would move those items so we'll filter this down let's grab All right, and then we would just move it. So I'll do the move command. I'm gonna say disjoin so we don't run into too many errors. And that's just the room doesn't align anymore because we essentially took all the walls off the rooms. So we'll ignore that. And we'll jump into a 3D view and kind of take a look at that. So we can see what we just did we move that entire curtain wall out and now we can jump into that um, link model after we save it so we'll go ahead and save that link and then we'll jump into our MEP model and see if we've updated that the um, architectural model so all we have to do is then go to our manage tab and then manage links and we'll take a look at the um, architectural sample model and then we'll just reload it press ok and then we can see that we've moved that curtain wall so I mean that's as easy as it gets um, 
you know, uh, just remember you can't open them both up in the same session unless you unload something and then you have to go through the effort of reloading it after you close that architectural model and you have to keep doing that. So um, just open up another Revit session, open up whatever link that you need to edit and then if needed, keep it on the side and just do your edits and then sync um, and then refresh in, uh, your primary model and you'll see those uh, updates. So hopefully this helps. Um, just a short tip. Um, let me know what you think. If you have any comments, um, like, share, um, comment, um, and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.